Good evening and welcome to Henry County Public Schools Family Connect. I'm Monica Hatchett, your host tonight, and I'm excited this evening to share with you some information for the adults in our community. Adult students have the opportunity to participate in classes at our Center for Community Learning. And tonight I have with me Robin Gravely from our Adult Education Program. And Robin, you've brought along some students with you and we'll be hearing from them after the break. But tell us a little bit about adult education and exactly what adult education is. Okay. Um, the Henry County Adult and Career um, Learning Center, we provide programs for adults who did not obtain their GED at some point in time. So we're able to give that second opportunity for them to earn that credential of a high school diploma. And you have a fair amount of students who participate in classes throughout the course of a school year and they can earn that GED credential. They can also earn other credentials along the way. Is that correct? Correct. Um, along with the GED, we have also a program called the National External Diploma Program. For short, we call it NEDP, mm -hmm. uh, which is also a program that a, a student can be able to earn a high school diploma from either Bassett or Magna Vista. And what that entails is a program in which is online, and there are 10 components with competencies in those components. And the students are able to work at home. Um, once they complete certain competencies, they're able to come to class. Um, and then we will have a teacher who will assess their work. Um, even if it's not completed correctly, they have that opportunity to go back, correct those mistakes, and bring it back. So it is a program that is attainable for those who may have issues with testing, you know, like the GED test, um, so they can be able to earn it. But with this program, it takes anywhere from six, year, uh, six months to a year to complete. So definitely very doable. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about the structure of adult education. Do adults come for certain periods of the day or can they float in and out based on their schedules? How does that work? Okay. Well, we do have open enrollment um, in which you know, students can be able to enroll in our program at any time during the course of the year. Um, our daytime GED classes are Monday through Thursday from 8 to 12. Um, uh, we also have what we call adult basic education and English language classes. Um, they also conduct during the daytime um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8 to 12. We also offer evening classes for those who work during the day. Um, those classes are Monday and Wednesday for the GED from 3.30 to 6.30 and the ELL classes are uh, Monday and Thursday from 5 to 7. So even if students uh, are able to come in during the course of the afternoon from 1 to 3, we do offer um, classes for um, to build up their skills in reading, math. Uh, we even have students who have obtained their GED and are at the college. They may want to come back to get additional assistance in certain subject areas. And several of the students who complete the program at CCL through adult ed do go on to complete things at Patrick Henry. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Um, a lot of our students, once they complete um, their GED. Um, we also work along with Patrick Henry Community College and we have some of the career coaches to come over to assist them in the, the application, inform them of any um, um, scholarships or financial assistance they can be able to receive while attending at PH. That's wonderful. Now, you said that there's open enrollment throughout the course of the year. So if I'm watching tonight and I decide, you know, that's something that I've always thought I needed to do or wanted to do, how do I go about beginning? What should I do first? Okay. For anyone who's interested in uh, attending our classes, uh, we just ask them to just show up um, at Center for Community Learning, which is the old Fixburg Elementary School. Um, our hours are from 8 to 3 um, o'clock for enrollment. Um, once a student enrolls, we will sit down and um, inform them of the two programs that are available to them, um, the hours, the classes, um, inform them that our GED classes are free. The only expense to the students is their transportation and their time in being in class. But the, um, the class itself is free. Um, we also offer the uh, practice test or the GED ready test which is normally six dollars but by being a student enrolled in our program they can get that for free and once they pass the GED practice test um, given the score we can have them to apply for a grant which can be able to pay for the GED test which is normally thirty dollars so a student all they have to do is just show up 
and it's a, and we will take care of the rest. So a maximum out of cost expense, if I didn't apply for any of those grants or waivers, it sounds like it would be less than fifty dollars anyway just to take those tests. But well, obviously there's a time commitment. Right. Well as far as, you know, if they were to do it on their own, the four um, test is required is thirty dollars each, which would be one hundred and twenty, okay. okay. and each practice test is six dollars. So for to take all four would be twenty four dollars. So in essence, they'll be saving about one hundred and you know eighty dollars by coming in, take you know enrolling in our classes. And they get lots of necessary support while yes. they're there from their peers and from the, from teachers the teachers on staff. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about the collaboration amongst the adults in the program. Um, where as far as the students, they work very well together. Um, we do have the classes where we try to offer peer instruction for students to work together because sometimes a student can be able to help another student where they may be fearful in asking questions in the classroom. Um, and by also being a student in the class, we offer what we call GED Academy, which is an online program for a tutorial that they can be able to um, study at home. Um, even with their children, we've even had some parents that oh, I've used it, it helped my children, you know, with that mm -hmm. online program. But as far as the students within the class, they work very well because they want to see each other succeed in the program. And I want to know, so you've told me how to begin, what should I expect? How long will it take me from the time I enroll until the time I complete? Well, it uh, varies among students depending on their level in math and their reading. Uh, we have some students can come in and finish within uh, two months um, at the least and then for the maximum we've had students to be there for about a year. So it's up to the individual student how long it takes them to complete the GED. So it sounds like a very flexible process. Yes. When we come back from the break, we're going to talk with some local members of our community who have completed the program at CCL and hear from them about what they've done since then and how it's helped them in their careers in our area. Your face tells a story, one that is uniquely yours. Our desire is to help you recapture your natural beauty. I'm board certified through the Academy of Aesthetic Medicine and specialize in the treatment of wrinkles, facial sagging, uneven skin tone, dark spots, acne, and other scars. For our clients, we create an exclusive treatment plan using non-surgical cosmetic procedures and medical strength skin care to help you to age gracefully and to look and feel your personal best. And that means game-changing savings at Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville. Score the biggest savings of the year on all 2017 models. Right now, drive home in a new 2017 Nissan Rogue and save up to $6,000 off. Or score up to $12,000 off on a new 2017 Nissan Titan. Get top dollar for your trade and our exclusive warranty forever on all our vehicles. Plus game-changing savings. Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville. Across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at TheBlueRidgeWay.com. Piedmont Youth Soccer League Fall 2017 registration is now underway. PYSL Rec Soccer is open to any children ages 3 to 18. The registration deadline is August 15th, then games begin on September 9th with the season ending October 28th. You can register online at PYSLsoccer.net or call the Smith River Sports Complex at 276-638-5200. Also, be sure to find the Piedmont Youth Soccer League on Facebook for updates about on-site registration dates and times. Sign up today and join the largest youth sports league in Martinsville, Henry County. Elite Bookkeeping and Tax Service is locally owned and operated. Stop paying high franchise fees and CPA fees. Elite Bookkeeping is open year-round and most of all, affordable. Elite can handle personal tax returns, self-employment, corporate, and more. Call today to meet a caring, 
professional at 647-7100, located across from the Collinsville Post Office. Elite Bookkeeping and Tax Service, 647-7100. Welcome back to Family Connect. Tonight we're talking adult education and specifically the adult education opportunities that are offered at our Center for Community Learning. Before the break we heard from Robin Gravely who works with students at that program to help them accomplish their goals in the adult world once they've already left high school. Now we're joined by several students, or former students, I should say, of the program. And if you guys will each just introduce yourself and tell us about your adult education experience. Uh, my name is Steve Kendrick, and uh, I enrolled in the welding program, and uh, I knew I had to do something about my GED. So then I enrolled in the GED and completed it. And, it's been going great ever since, and uh, I'm still in the welding program, and I'm about to complete it. Uh, I'll probably have it completed in December. And you were talking before the program started, you've actually earned several credentials since completing the GED program, correct? Yes, I have uh, six certifications, and uh, now I'm working on pipe welding. And, uh, and I'm also working on a blueprint reading course and uh, I should have it completed in the end of November. And those are all definitely necessary skills that are needed in our community. We have lots of jobs that we all need people who can do those things. So that's a great avenue to follow. Yes. Barbara, what about you? My name is Barbara Muniz and um, I also completed my GED and graduated on July 25th. Um, never thought at my age that I could do it, but I'll tell anybody, you're never, you're never too old. Um, since completing my GED, I went to Patrick Henry Community College with a grant that I got from completing my GED. And um, I completed courses in medical billing and coding, and I got certification in that, as well as certification in Microsoft um, Office and Microsoft Excel and also got my CPR. And I'm diligently working to get employment now to put those skills to work. Very good. So employers in our community, be aware. You've got a great candidate sitting here tonight. Tamaya, what about you? Hi, my name is Tamaya Draper. And um, I was homeschooled for my high school year. So once that was finished, I decided that, um, well, once I turned 18, actually, I decided that getting my GED was the best option for me. So of course I went in nervous um, and low expectations of myself, but once I got there, I had you know the motivation and the support that I needed and I finished in pretty good time. Good. Now Robin was talking earlier about the fact that it can take as little as a couple months or maybe as long as a year to complete the program. And there may be people in the community who are thinking about whether it's something they want to do. Say each of you, just tell us a little bit about maybe how long it took you to complete and maybe what you felt like you were able to accomplish that maybe you were nervous or thought you couldn't do so much before you started. Yeah, for me, uh, uh, I think I signed up at the end of November and I completed it March the 3rd. But I was, uh, I was in the evening classes, mm -hmm. and uh, one day I just figured it up. Uh, you know, it's only three hours for two nights a week. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it was like less than two weeks that it actually took me. And uh, yes, I was nervous too, and, but they, they're very good teachers. They know how to build your confidence, and, and it's a great accomplishment uh, feeling, accomplishing it. But uh, they, it'll also give you a, a better outlook on life uh, after you complete it. It's great. That's a great message. Barbara, what about you? Well, I went very apprehensive because I felt that I'm going to be the oldest one there. And I hadn't been in school in 45 years. So I, I, I was very apprehensive about going. I went October 19th. and. 
Robin just took all those fears away about me being too old to do it. By December 12th, I had my GED. Okay. So it, don't underestimate yourself because you can do it. Yeah. All right, Tamaya, you said that you had a little bit of a different situation, mm -hmm. but were there things that you were worried that might be difficult that you found out, hey, I can do this? Yes, actually. So the way I was homeschooled was a, a little different than, you know, traditional, um, well, the way it's traditionally done. So there were some fears that I didn't know as much as I think I did. Um, but it turns out I knew just about exactly what I needed. And I got there, like I said, with low expectations of myself. And I got there and I, like I said, I did a way better than I thought. And I started in February and by the end of May, I was good to go. Very good. Okay, so a lot of people say the hardest subject or the subject you feared the most is maybe the one that you didn't love so much when you were in school. But what did you notice about going in, even if you were a little nervous about a particular subject, and how that worked out for you? Well, uh, I was really worried about the math. Uh, I was no good at algebra and uh, when I was in school. But uh, they, have, they have wonderful teaching techniques and uh, once they showed me a certain technique to uh, process to work these algebra problems, uh, you know, it, it just became clear. And uh, like I said, they got a, a very good way of explaining and showing you ways to work these problems. And uh, I was like her, I, I didn't think I could do a lot of it. But once I got into it, I, I found I couldn't put the books down and I really got into it and I did a whole lot better at it than I thought I was going to. That's wonderful. Yeah. My big subject was history. I never cared who fought the war in 1812 or anything <laughs> like that. So I thought, there's no way I'm going to do this history. Well, they t gave us practice tests. And the first te two tests that I took, um, I did well. And she signed me right up then to take those two, uh, the exams. And so I knew more than what I thought I knew, it, or at least I, it proved out that I did. And um, math turned out to be my tickler. So we had our night classes, and, and like Steve said, she really explained if we had a problem with getting it to click, they could explain it to us that it, it would make sense then, and, and then you learned um, more, and then went and took my GED and, and passed the math test. That's wonderful. It's time for a break, but we don't want you to leave. We want you to stay with us. When we come back, we're going to talk about what you can do to support another adult that you know, or maybe to take that brave step yourself to complete your adult education. Are you, or someone you know, a person with a disability? Do you feel like no one understands? Well, there's hope. Disability Rights and Resource Center is here for you, offering services and assistance with independent living skills, peer counseling, home modifications, and much, much more. You're not in this world alone. Our professionally trained staff can help. Call 540-482-0752. You're watching BTW21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. Football has started, and that means game-changing savings at Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville. Score the biggest savings of the year on all 2017 models. Right now, drive home in a new 2017 Nissan Rogue and save up to $6,000 off. Or score up to $12,000 off on a new 2017 Nissan Titan. Get top dollar for your trade and our exclusive warranty forever on all our vehicles. Plus game-changing savings. Blue Ridge Nissan in Martinsville, across from the Speedway on Greensboro Road. Also, shop with us online at thebluridgeway.com.
Sign up for Pharmacy Text Alerts today. It's a simple, easy way to refill your prescription. Simply go online and register at www.refillrx.com or download the app to your smartphone. Getting your prescriptions just got easier at Family Pharmacy in Stanley Town, serving our community since 1996. At Southern Virginia Properties, you will receive friendly, reliable service for all your real estate needs. I really appreciated the patience and the time that Missy took with me and the flexibility in going to various houses, as well as being friendly and courteous and very professional. I chose Marlene as Southern Virginia Properties, an excellent company, very professional. Uh, I wouldn't deal with anybody else. Thank you. Welcome back to Family Connect. Tonight we're talking with representatives from our Center for Community Learning's Adult Education Program. And we've heard from Robin Gravely who guides students and helps them to prepare for that GED, that final testing that they have to complete. But we've also heard from some really brave people in our community. I think it does take bravery, a lot of bravery, to take that step. You've been out of school for a while and then you've decided, I need to do this for myself. Tell us exactly what made you make that step or take that step and what would you say to somebody who's thinking about doing it? Well. Uh like I said, I'm, I'm moving into a welding career, and I definitely need a GED to, you know, this day and time, you just about need one for anything. And if I had to tell anyone any, anything, I, I know I can understand being nervous, and taking that first leap is very hard, but take that first leap, because if you want this, they will make it happen. Um, I would just say that it's never too late to do it. Um, I was very apprehensive about it because of my age and also uh, since I hadn't been in school for so long. But um, it was definitely worth it. Not only did I get the GED, but then my other certifications. And I feel like in, I can accomplish anything. What got me started, though, to go to the, the CCL to get my GED was January 12th, I started a healthier lifestyle and I lost over 100 pounds. And when I did that, I felt like anything was possible. And so I inquired as to where I could get my GED. And the school board actually recommended the CCL to me. And I would tell anybody, it's never too late. And if not now, then when? That's wonderful. What about you, Tawanda? Um, Like he said, in this day and age, um, it is something that you do need. But I felt like, um, me being 18, I felt like it was definitely an accomplishment for me to go get my GED. And I would say, you just have to be motivated. Um, if it is something that you want, just go in with a positive attitude, and they're there to help you. Robin, what great testimony from uh, students of various walks of life, various ages, and this is a picture mm -hmm. of the collaborative group that you'll see at CCL during the adult ed programs. What are some final reminders? We need that contact information again. What do we need for people in the community to know about adult education? If anyone who is seeking to get their GED, uh, we just ask you to uh, contact us at the Henry County Adult Learning Center at 638-1668. Uh, you can contact me. My name is, again is Robin Gravely. And just, you know, just come in, take that uh, leap of faith, step in, and we will do our best um, to uh, help you to achieve and accomplish in getting that GED. If you have questions about the program, you forget the phone number, 
You can find us on Facebook, find, find Henry County Public Schools. You can connect with us through the live Facebook broadcast of this particular show. Or as always, you can contact us through the Let's Talk feature on the Henry County Public Schools website. If this is something that you haven't taken the brave step yet, listen to these guys here tonight and take that step for yourself. There's nothing that you have to lose except a little bit of nerves, right guys? Right. Um, we encourage you to contact Robin as quickly as possible, but again, enrollment is open all throughout the year. So if you want to wait, if it's your New Year's resolution or even a springtime resolution, that's okay too. Contact the Center for Community Learning and get started with your adult ed program today. We've got some monster deals here at GR Chevrolet. A 2012 Malibu, only $156 a month, zero down. 2016 Impala, $197 a month with zero down. 2015 Silverado Z71, one owner, $365 a month, zero down. Come test drive any new or used truck here at GR Chevrolet. Get you a t-shirt or a hat. Come see us at GR Chevrolet. You're watching BTW 21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. My family and I and our staff would like to say thank you for the last 20 years of being able to serve you. If you're having any back problems, neck problems, headaches, we'd like to help you. I'm here Monday through Friday to serve you. Give our office a call. 632-3334. If you're ready to stop the pain, call Hill Chiropractic Center, 1141 Memorial Boulevard. I'm Danae Thompson, a pharmacist here at Chatham Family Pharmacy, where we have a full range of prescription and non-prescription products, nationally certified pharmacy technicians, and can offer you friendly service with a minimal weight and the lowest prices in the area. We offer compliance packaging, free delivery up to 10 miles, and are conveniently located on Highway 29 in Tight Squeeze Plaza. So stop by and find out how we can help you and your family be healthy at Chatham Family Pharmacy. Bingo! Family fun for everyone. Fontaine Brewerton Bingo every Tuesday night. Win cash prizes. Doors open at 5.30. Games start at 7.00. Visit Fontaine Ruiton Club online or on social media for updates, prize amounts, and more. Proceeds benefit our community, scholarships, and local school children. Fontaine Ruiton Club, 1903 Joseph Martin Highway, Martinsville. Clarence's Steakhouse is more than just a steakhouse. We have breakfast, lunch specials seven days a week with dine-in and carry-out orders. We have served our community for over 45 years and we treat every customer just like family. So whether you want a fresh cut steak or all you can eat fish every Friday night at Clarence's, just stop by and be part of the Clarence's family. Clarence's Steakhouse is located at 6636 Greensboro Road in Ridgeway. Welcome to Henry County. We're the home of the Martinsville Speedway, the Smith River Sports Complex, the Dick and Willie Passage, the Smith River, the Philpott Marina, and many other recreational opportunities. But we are more than that. We have one of the best school systems in the Commonwealth of Virginia, a three-time recipient of the Apple Distinguished Program School District Award. Our partnership with Apple is unmatched in the Commonwealth of Virginia, from our one-to-one -one iPad initiative to our nearly 300 teachers who are certified Apple teachers. Our economic development team includes the Martinsville Henry County Economic Development Corporation, Patrick Henry Community College, and the New College Institute. This team of experts can address any requests that you bring us for training and education. We also have the Patriot Center at Beaver Creek Industrial Park, which is home to national and international companies such as Eastman, Monogram Snack Foods, Haynes Brands, Springs Global, Bassett Furniture, ICF International, and Arconic. We're home to the Commonwealth Crossing Business Center, 
where we soon will officially open a state-of-the-art business park with 200 acres of prepared pad.